After months of delay, Chad's national dialogue has begun in the capital in Jamena. Bringing together more than 50 rebel and opposition groups, among others, it aims to end years of conflict and instability. Today, we find ourselves at a decisive turning point in the history of our country because in a few moments we are going to lay the first milestones in the re-foundation of our republic. The talks follow a peace agreement signed between the governing military council and rebel groups last week in Doha. It paved the way for the rebels to return to Chad and join the discussions. Among the issues to be addressed are a new constitution, governance and a timeline for national elections. Delegates will form committees to tackle the various issues. Despite the large number of participants, there are a few but crucial groups missing. It's prompted concerns that even if the dialogue brings peace, it may not last. And stability is needed. Half of Chad's 13 million people live in poverty and hundreds of thousands have been displaced by conflict. The Front for Change and Concord, one of two main rebel groups not taking part in the talks, says more needs to be done for the process to work. We did request uh, equal representation of the different opposition and government at the national dialogue. They refused to give uh, to access to this request. And also they refused to uh, release our prisoner as soon as we signed the agreement. And also they did not give enough security guarantees. So these are some reasons we, the why we refused to sign the agreement. Other groups have also boycotted the talks, including the civil society group Wakit Tamma, which has repeatedly called for anti-government protests. Qatar, which mediated the peace agreement that led to these talks, says it will work to bring in those who are yet to join. We are now working on facilitating issues. We will not abandon them until the reconciliation is complete. We've invited the groups that have not signed the peace agreement to join and we urge them to join. The doors open for them to be part of the process. A process that is scheduled to last for three weeks and one that many here hope will bring a new chapter for Chad free of conflict and political turmoil. Hebo Morgan Al Jazeera, Jamena.